At Elkhart Public Library, these babies are about to embark on a path to loving books and learning. Well, I just am a big believer in starting babies with books as early as possible with my own two. It was the moment we came home from the hospital and we were reading and just learning to enjoy books and enjoy that time together. Erin is the mastermind behind Baby and Me, an interactive experience that uses stories, rhymes, and games to help engage babies with literature. I use a lot of ideas from other children's librarians. There are some great blogs out there and a lot on Pinterest uh, ideas for songs and stories and things like that. Um, you know, one of the recommendations was to have my own baby, and so I happened to have that moose that was about the size of a baby, so I use him to kind of demonstrate to the parents what they can do with the bounces and the finger plays and things like that. So I was a teacher, I was an elementary school teacher um, for three years, and so I know how important it is for that literacy, um, even just to get them seeing books and pictures and words and having them learn to turn pages. Um, reading every day to them really builds their vocabulary and helps them um, with their speaking and then reading later on in life. I think it just shows them that reading is important, that learning is important. It's when you get them young like that, it's still an enjoyable time. It's a time when they have your full attention and you know, hopefully we get them soon enough. Once they get into the school, maybe it's not as much fun anymore. And so hopefully if they have that uh, foundation they'll learn that reading is something they want to continue doing throughout their lives. Well, I always loves the bubbles, um, so that's probably the most fun part. At first, she was a little bit shy and weary, but when they get the interactive things out, like the bubbles and the bells and the shakers, she really loves that. Introducing babies to the world of literature always starts with a good storybook. I choose books that usually don't have a lot of words, um, but they they have bright pictures. Babies tend to look at you know the the, the pictures, the brightness, or or black and white high contrast, um, and books with good vocabulary. Uh, it may not be words that they use every day or will use every day, but it's exposure to those words that's really important at that age. It's been awesome. Um, it's great to be able to get out of the house and come do something where she's interacting with other kids and Miss Erin and we love the stories and the songs. It's been great. I'm still building the program. Um, so it, with babies too, it's hit and miss uh, getting out of the house in the morning sometimes. And so attendance can be a little sporadic, but when they're here, they are always very engaged. I love seeing the caregivers uh, really giving their babies that one-on-one -on -one attention. And I'm hoping I'm giving them some tools to take home and use at home with their babies as well. Knowledge doesn't just stop at the Baby and Me program. Parents are encouraged to read to and interact with their babies at home as well. Just talking throughout the day, always talking, uh, using songs, um, and of course having books available on low shelves, books that they are sturdy, that the babies can just grab off whenever they want to, and reading to them throughout the day, making them aware of all the words and the language that's around them is really important. Above all else, watching babies fall in love with learning is the real reward. Oh, I love it. I am really a teacher at heart, and I started to get my teaching degree, but I couldn't figure out how to work student teaching in with working full-time and having two teenagers of my own. And so this job came along, and it was just a perfect fit for me because I get to use some of those teaching skills uh, without having to be certified in everything and having to do the student teaching aspect of it. But I'm still teaching and I love it. I love watching the light bulbs go off. I love watching the little babies as they're learning to talk and use language. It's always a lot of fun to hear that.